welcome to my channel or welcome back um, I'm so glad to have you guys watching my videos today I just wanted to take a short little break um, I have been like working really hard on my kitchen because I'm trying to just get the top cabinets repainted which I'm almost done with I wanted to get them done before we left on our little like vacation this weekend I think I'm gonna get it done, but I'm very tired. So I thought I would come in and um, post this video. I figured since I am 15 and a half weeks now, I would kind of talk about how my first trimester went, which, cause it's just so different than like my other two pregnancies. So I'm 15 and a half weeks right now. Um, the baby is the size of an avocado. That's what my app says, at least. Um, and the last doctor's appointment I had <coughs> was 12 weeks, 13 weeks. I, I don't know. I can't remember. I, there's just too much going on always in our house. But the last doctor's appointment, the heart rate was 160, which is higher than it's ever been so both of my boys were always in the 40s always with my first two pregnancies i had morning sickness pretty bad with carson my first son it was extremely bad i couldn't keep anything down i think i lost like 20 pounds i i couldn't keep anything down the second pregnancy with kaden it was still pretty bad but it wasn't as bad like it was more tolerable compared to with carson like with carson it was to the point where i would just eat something because i would rather throw up food than throw up stomach acid so i was on meds for both to help with the nausea um this pregnancy i haven't had like morning sickness at all i mean i have i was pretty nauseous for only like two weeks which was is not a lot because with both of the boys um carson i was i had morning sickness to like 20 weeks and kate and i think i had morning sickness to like 15 weeks so it got better but this one i had morning sickness for like two weeks it wasn't even bad i was just um nauseous and I think I only threw up one time, which is nothing compared to both. Like Carson, I probably threw up six to eight times a day. Like it was rough. So this pregnancy, my morning sickness was pretty much non-existent compared to the other ones. Um, this pregnancy, I have been exhausted. Like first trimester, I was exhausted and I've had people say well it's because you have two kids already like you're really busy I don't really think that's the case actually because even with Kaden like I got pregnant with Kaden three months after I had Carson <laughs> that sounds crazy to me but I did and so Carson was really young when I was in my first trimester but I don't know I was never this exhausted ever like my exhaustion was to the point where I was struggling to stay awake while the kids were playing like I, there was one day I was laying on the couch like closing my eyes trying not to fall asleep because the kids were awake so my exhaustion on this one was just extreme I would say two weeks ago is when my exhaustion started to get better so now i am not as exhausted i mean today i'm pretty tired but i was up till 1 a.m last night which is not normal for me but my exhaustion is getting a lot better like before i was going i was in bed once i put the kids in bed and my kids go to bed early they've been starting to stay up later but they were going to bed at like 6 15 6 30 and when i would put them to bed I would go to bed myself because I was so tired and like I would, I would be sleeping by 7.38 every night and I would wake up at 7.30 in the morning still exhausted. So it's gotten a little bit better like I have been going to bed later like 
some nights now it's like 10 11 i mean last night it was one so that's kind of nice to not be so exhausted to where i feel like i need to go to bed super early but yeah those were the like main things um i have been super bloated this pregnancy like it was to the point it's getting better and i'm always bloated during my pregnancies that's just how it always has been but this time it was so bad like it was so bad to the point where i just couldn't wear my normal jeans anymore because i i still i've lost weight this pregnancy not as much as i have before because before i would lose 15 to 20 pounds first trimester but i have lost some weight but like my bloating was to the point where it just hurt to wear jeans because any slight pressure on my stomach hurt so bad so that was like a huge difference too on this one and i just the only reason i'm really talking about this is because this pregnancy compared to both of my boys is 100 percent different both of my boys pregnancies were the exact same to a t like they were so exact same so this one is just it's it's weird to me but it's kind of nice because it's been a lot easier on me this time around than with both of my boys which is i'm so grateful for but it is weird because i'm used to like the like having kind of a rough pregnancy but i never really said it was rough to anybody because I'm stubborn and I know that people always had it worse than me but I I mean I I had it pretty rough like with Kaden my SI I always have SI pain and I have been starting to get that already but it's very tolerable it's not bad at all the only time it starts to like hurt is when I'm standing for way too long or I'm sitting on the floor for way too long but with uh, my second pregnancy, so with Kaden, it was to the point where I could not physically walk upstairs. I could not carry Carson because my SI hurt so bad. Like to pick up my right leg was so hard. I could barely pick up my right leg. Like it was pretty bad and it was constant pain 24 seven, but I, I just dealt with it because I went to the chiropractor one time and she kind of helped it, but she said there really wasn't anything that she could do, so I just toughed it out. I don't know. But that's kind of all that has been pretty different. Um, if you have questions about what I think the gender is, I mean, I would, I would not be surprised if it is a boy because I mean hello I have two boys like that wouldn't be a surprise but it's really weird because I wouldn't be surprised either if it was a girl just because this pregnancy is so different from the boys which I know doesn't necessarily mean anything but it is really weird for me because the other two were the exact same and they were both boys but I'm not holding my breath because it's probably another boy which I am 100% fine with I am definitely a boy mom like I am I can be very tough on my kids because I know they can do better and with boys honestly like I feel like parenting is just so different well I don't know I know my boys because Carson my oldest can be something else like I have never met a kid like him he is too smart and i know that i'm his mom so that you're like yeah you're gonna say your kid is smart no he is he's honestly very smart for his age and he learns things really quick so he gets bored very quickly because once he's figured it out he's done with it and he wants to move on to the next thing so he gets bored very quickly and then he gets irritated because he's bored so I'm always having to introduce new things. It's just, yeah, he's on another level, but <laughs> I have handled him so far. So I just 
sometimes I have my moments, but that's kind of all I really wanted to talk about for first trimester. I'll talk more about the second trimester, like once I'm done with it, I guess, because I just kind of started the second trimester. Um, I'm showing a little bit, but I think a lot of it is because my stomach is already stretched out because I have had two kids already pretty like back to back and I guess you could say this one is back to back to back but it is a longer wait than before because both of my sons are born in February and this one is due at the end of June um so it is a little bit longer but for a lot of people this is back to back but I'm fine with it because I would rather have all my kids young and get them out of the way and I don't know that's just kind of how it's always been but that's it for this video feel free to give it a thumbs up like like the video subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one I will have more I mean pregnancy videos baby videos coming up because that's just where I am in my life along with like we're just finishing up some stuff in our house like the kitchen we need to put ceilings in our basement and then hopefully we will be looking for a new house this spring that's my goal but I guess we'll see if there's anything even on the market because right now there's literally nothing on the market like we need a four bedroom house we are outgrowing our house so 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 quickly <laughs> But we do need a bigger house and that's just kind of like the reality of it. So I'm hoping that this spring we can sell our house and get a new one. I mean timing is going to suck. But like I told my husband Ben, I would rather move with a newborn than move with like three slightly older kids. Because then like if they're six or seven months old, this third baby... They're going to be crawling. They're going to be moving more. And I mean, newborns that you can literally carry them and they're fine. So that's kind of like what the plan is. I'll keep you guys updated. We haven't really done anything yet with moving or any anything really. We're just doing last minute things on our house that I want done before we move. And it depends on the housing market. So... Hopefully there's more houses on the market soon because we, we need a bigger house. But I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.